Welcome back to Halogen Training Level 100, Lesson 102. In this lesson, you will learn how to use important tools in the processing workspace, the distributed program bus, the priority selector, and how to zone a system in just minutes. Let's use a simple design, two sources to four zones example for this lesson. Consider a bar with background music running every day and sports on TV every Wednesday and Sunday. In the hardware space, name your inputs and outputs to clearly identify them. Input 1. BG Music 2. TV Sports And the zones will be 1. Bar 2. Lounge 3. Garden and 4. Restrooms Switch to the Processing Workspace tab at the upper right corner and have a look at the screen. On the left, you will find the I.O. tab, which shows you available inputs in green and outputs in orange, the same colors as on the physical HAL 3S. The names that are typed into the hardware workspace are now shown in the processing workspace. Simply drag and drop the first green input block onto the workspace area do the same with the second green input block and place it under the first block. You can also select multiple input-output blocks by clicking on the category header and drag them all into the workspace at once. As you won't need channels 5 and 6 for this 4-zone configuration, simply select them and press delete on your keyboard. As you can see on the green input blocks, there is a little grey fitting at the right edge of the block that is the terminal for the content being sent from this block to the next block. Open the properties and select what kind of source will come into the ERA block connector on the rear panel of the processor. You can have a dynamic mic, a condenser mic supplied with phantom power, an unbalanced left and right mono summed line that we will call line plus or a balanced line level input. Line plus input mode allows stereo unbalanced signals to be connected to just one ERA block. Halogen will sum the two signals into one mono feed and optimize your input channels. You can add 20 dB of preamp gain using the sensitivity control. The level adjustment at the right has configurable range of 100 dB from minus 88 dB to plus 12 dB. Click on the yellow underlined values to change the minimum and maximum. Default range is minus 30 dB to zero, which we consider enough for the average installations. The option off at minimum will cut the signal when the level is turned all the way down. In this case, considering background music is coming from a stereo source, we recommend you use the unbalanced LNR monode. Anytime you click on the question mark symbol, it will open the specific help file topic detailing the block's features and functions. Considering sports audio is normally mono coming from the TV, you can use the balance line level option. Now it's time to learn about one of the most powerful tools in Halogen when talking about zoning. Look in the left column where you see the I.O. tab. Below it, you can access your DSP processing blocks. Feel free to look at all the blocks, but in this lesson we will focus on the distributed program bus. Under Paging and Room Combine, drag the distributed program bus block onto your workspace and wire it to the first green input block. To connect the TV sports source, simply drag the wire directly to the word Add. Halogen will understand what you need and will create a new DPB input automatically. You could add up to 32 inputs inputs as required according to all sources you have. Now you have the sources flowing into the DPB, you need to decide where they go. Back to your DSP menu, drag the zone processor block and drop it onto your workspace near the orange output one named bar. Notice that the zone processor has the same blue stripe as the DPB. That means all the sources connected to the DPB will automatically be available in each zone processor. Select the zone processor and duplicate it for each zone. Arrange the orange output blocks so they can be connected to each zone processor. Name all your zones by clicking in the green stripe of each zone processor. Left to right signal flow theme applies to all processing blocks in Halogen. If your wire is pointing somewhere you do not want it to be, click the ESC key 
in your keyboard. Click on the dashed yellow wire and press delete. Now you have almost everything done. Let's think for a moment. Where do you want background music to be heard? And where do you want people to listen to TV sports audio on Wednesdays and Sundays? If somebody in the restroom hears <laughs> from the opposing team, the bathroom could have seriously consequences. So let's consider only music for the restroom. Double click on the restroom zone processor to open it. As you can see a zone processor is a parent block containing three children blocks. Priority selector, level and paging zone. Halogen provides the zone processor as a shortcut. To route program content into this zone you only need to adjust priority selector. The selector provides three program choices, BG Music and TV Sports coming from the DPB and the local one source if you connect the source directly to that zone. For the restrooms, select BG Music. Now think about the bar, lounge and garden. You want them to have BG Music every day and the TV sound only during the games on Wednesdays and Sundays. Is there a way to make this process happen automatically? Yes! Use the priority inputs choices to set TV Sport as number one priority and BG Music as number two. The first priority signal will override any other source and the second priority will override the third. Determine the threshold TV sound needs to reach to override the BG music. If you want to leave your TV on only showing images, turn down the volume and get the music back again. Two powerful features of this block are the hold time and the ramp back. The hold time tells the system to wait during program silence before switching to the next priority source. For example, pauses during commercial breaks, fade outs between songs or mechanical jukebox systems while chuck and load different discs. The ramp back is how long it will take to fade from the priority signal back to the next source. In other words, how long it will take the background music to fade in after TV sound signal drops below threshold level. This allows system to make smooth gradual transitions between sources without suddenly turning on a blaring signal. Use these procedures to set parameters in the remaining zone processors and finito! Only background music will be heard in the restrooms. For all the other zones, once the bartender turns up the volume of the TV, the sports sound will automatically override the background music. After the game finishes, turn down the TV and the music will fade back in gradually and accurately. Just like a broadcast DJ was making a segue. And one actually is halogen. What happens if outside in the garden people want more volume to listen to the commentator and inside the bar the volume is already loud enough? Okay, okay. I will teach you this and much more in the next lesson. Thanks for watching Halogen Training. Subscribe to our channel and participate with questions and suggestions. This is Augusto Marcondes from InMusic Company, your Halogen Training Tutor.